special month that we are celebrating is focused on British food, and I believe this is a fantastic way of starting 2014. Now we began our This Is Great Britain campaign last October, and uh, that was an opportunity really to show what we are good at, our culture, our business, and now uh, this is it. You know, this is the, the ultimate in, in, in what we can offer uh, in, in, in the Philippines, which is probably from some of you, undiscovered territory. We will have the uh, Great Britain uh, campaign going on until March with a grand finale in Bonifacio High Street when we will add not just food, but everything else that we think is, is attractive, including British fashion. Because if you look at our creativity, our entrepreneurship, our education, and now our food, what you'll see is that a nation that speaks in, to the modern world, but based on some really great heritage too. And food and drink is actually not just uh, about individual <coughs> enjoyment, it is actually a fantastic business in the UK, an important sector, and it is a source of exports uh, throughout the world. Now, British food, at its best, is known for its freshness, sustainability, and the quality. And I think that quality is enhanced, not just by the, if you like, the traditional recipes that have been passed from master chef to master chef, from uh, great cooks in ordinary homes and farms, but it is also based on science and research and innovation. If you look at the humble instant coffee, you know, the root of that is in Britain where people couldn't wait. <laughs> if you look at ready-made meals, originally these were almost just food that was almost in distress. But nowadays you can pick up food that is as good and if not better at times than what a lot of people can produce. So that if you like, if you're in the re restaurant business, you've got serious competition uh, from the people who are providing uh, ready-made meals. The one thing I'm absolutely sure of is if people from Britain and Filipinos have one thing in common, it is the love of food. And we will show you that British cuisine is not just fish and chips. <laughs> Although fish and chips does feature very strongly in everybody's uh, recognition of what Britain actually is. And the fact that we are able to promote British food shows that we have moved quite considerably in this industry from maybe what was a very strange history of culinary excellence to what we are able to do now. There's a huge variety of flavors and dishes. And what we've also done is adapted to foreign influences. So we've picked out what is good in our immediate neighborhood, be it France, Italy, or elsewhere. We've gone as far out as India and added things to, what, uh, to our range of offerings. And it is not a joke that the chicken tikka masala is not an Indian dish. It is unknown in India. It is a very famous British dish.